that one scene from Saving Private Ryan where he's like shooting the pistol to the tiger tank? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The bridge That's scene? That's this. Yeah, yeah, the end of the bridge scene. Galaxy behind us. Big target, boys. Oh, boy. Hit the, oh, hit the boy. Galaxy the Gal spotted. Gal spotted. Gal spotted. Hit. Hunt the sky another whales. Hit. I got another, another hit. hit. Another hit. Another hit. Two hits. Bro, is this dishonored? Because we're getting that whale. whale. <laughs> oh, they're firing back. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think really God nothing God stops the archer heart. Oh no, whatever shall the archers do, keep shooting. Oh sorry Kevin, reflex. <laughs> uh, that's two more gals. <laughs> There's two more gals! Give me on, give me on! Oh, yes! The whale. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> no, no, they're <laughs> skirting around us! Get the Valk! Oh, oh shit! God. We gotta freaking hit us! Get fucked. Oh, we're like a bunch of honey badgers. We're a bunch okay? of assholes. Everything is hostile to us, and we don't give a Monkey fuck. Stronger together. <laughs> Ape together strong. So let's clarify. I'm only making this video for two reasons. One, in my first video, I sounded like just an edgy teenager. Two, the most recent update of Planetside 2, besides the Halloween update, because this video is going to come out after the Halloween has been released, is all about overhauling the new player experience and the tutorial, which this game is desperately needed for its eight-year lifespan. So I figured I would overhaul one of my own videos. Welcome to Planetside 2, the game bigger than Battlefield and more chaotic than Call of Duty, but still better than both. Now, it's important to note that this game is a one-of-a-kind in which four factions are marooned on an alien planet and three of them just beat the everlasting shit out of each other, with the fourth faction not giving two fucks about who or what it kills so long as they get paid. Allow me to explain how this game is a one-of-a-kind game. There's no matches, there's no rounds, there's just five massive continents and one of them at least is always open for people to fight on. Throw in a multitude of vehicles and you have yourself a combined arms, massively ever-evolving war that is always going on. No matchmaking, just five continents, you jump right into the action. Take over the most territories by the end of the alert and you and your faction win the continent and then it's on to the next one. The first faction is the Red and Black faction, the Terran Republic, an authoritarian military government and a big bunch of absolute dicks that pissed everyone else off. These guys always look the coolest and they rely on more rounds in their weapons at high rates of fire and speed in their weapons as well as vehicles. They also tend to have the best pilots in the game on their side. The next faction, the Blue and Yellow faction, is the new conglomerate. This is the hardest faction to play for new players, but essentially, it's a bad batch of idiots who decided they weren't going to take any more of the Terran Republic's shit and start their own crew instead, a crew that fights for freedom. Their weapons hit harder than most factions, but fire slower than their own IQ scores, and their vehicles move even slower, but at least they have the extra health to compensate. And don't even get me started on their team killing issues. So, uh, Why am I not shadow playing right now? Uh, I don't know. Tucker, give me some content. Don't even, don't even think about it. Don't even think about content? it. Content? 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 content. The Degenerates in the purple are the Vanu Sovereignty. These spandex-loving losers are the easiest faction to play for new players because of their accurate laser weaponry. Basically, the Vanu are a bunch of cultists that worship an ancient alien race. It doesn't really make any sense. They broke off from the new conglomerate and the Terran Republic and just decided to declare war on both of them for no reason. But on top of being the most hated faction in the game, they are also the most versatile faction in the game. With their tanks that can easily climb up mountains and ambush your armor column, or their scythes that can outmaneuver the new conglomerate's flying bricks. However, they usually rely on numbers to get the job done. I'm looking at you, SKL, in a very friendly and joking manner. The fourth and final faction, and the newest one at that, is the Nanite Systems Operatives. Designed and controlled by the neutral Nanite Systems corporation, the same one that gave weapons to factions that they shouldn't be in the game, these robotic mercenary boys don't operate like the other three factions. Instead, they support the lowest populated faction when they spawn in on that continent. Unless you're a paying member, but that's a different story. That's why you'll see these guys fighting in all different colors. Their weapons are pretty cool and perform alright, but that's really all I got about these freaks. Before I go any further, if you are a new player, please know these three things. First, you will die a lot. Hundreds of times, in fact, thousands if you stay. And that is okay, because you could just respawn like everyone else in the game. Second, do not buy in-game weapons at all until you further understand how to play the game, your class, use the money you got on upgrades to the stuff you already have, like your suit slot, for example. The default weapons in the game are some of the best, so don't even try and hit me with that overpowered bullshit of other people. Third and finally, join an outfit. These are the clans of the game. Join their Discord and their TeamSpeak as well. Get involved in that community so you can do cool clutch shit like this. Look at this. Oh, no, 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 we are so close. We are I'm so pushing close. the stairs, boys. Get, 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 get up there, get up there, get up there. Contest it. Go. I'm contesting it. No. Go. Yeah, go. Go. No. 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 No
Holy Yo! 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 I need fucking repairs! <laughs> Look at that! No way. Zero oh. seconds! Zero seconds! Zero seconds. Now we gotta yeah. hold the clip. Or funny shit like this. Charge! Charge! Like such a terrible. I am still oh, going! Uh-oh. To the this... conglomerate! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, yeah. Fuck him up! Yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> to the spawn room! Charge! Wait, no, no, no. Get, get, get in here, get in here. Charge! 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 I'm down! Help! He's back! Take his wallet! Oh, Take his what wallet! What is going on? <laughs> we just came in and mowed us down! We're being British! <laughs> If you understand those three concepts, your chances of having fun in this game will significantly be greater. Hell, if you even want to join my outfit and my Discord, the link is in the description. But I digress. Each faction has six classes with a multitude of weapons and abilities to work with. From snipers and cloaking devices, to jetpacks and explosives, to walking mechanized suits with dual wield weapons. The lead assault comes first though, and I only do this class because it is hands down my favorite class to play in the game. Being the most mobile class in the game, with a badass fucking jetpack, you could scale walls, buildings, and every now and then an aircraft like in the cinematic trailer. The class allows for carbines, submachine guns, and even shotguns to be equipped, allowing for sometimes for utter cheese and instant delete button moments with a combination of your jetpack. Sprinkle in a six round light rocket launcher and some C4 and you have the most fun class in the game to play and the most annoying class to play against if you're a tanker. Next comes the heavy assault. No, not that heavy assault this heavy assault. And just to emphasize what I mean by this heavy assault, I mean we're talking personal body overshield, LMGs, actual rocket launchers with like five different ways of functioning, scout rifles, and of course SMGs and shotguns. This class is so important, so special, and so much played that I have been told repeatedly by my best friend Blood Red Recon to not attempt to explain how this class works or what it's for. But fuck it. If you don't like it, cry about it on the subreddit. I'll even throw a link to that in the description. While the light assault is used to flank enemy positions and to make vehicle players cry themselves to sleep, the heavy assault on the other hand is jack of all trades when it comes to making people cry. Basically, with access to your overshield and all those other weapons that you got, it's just kill things, push objectives. Now, I know that's a simpleton form of looking at the heavy assault, and all the vets are screaming right now, getting ready to furiously complain about me or Rel for breathing the wrong way, so the more tactical purpose of the heavy assault is to secure and hold objectives with your teammates because you aren't going to 1v12 clutch in this game. Regardless of how you use the Heavy Assault, no class is more profitable in experience and certification points, the game's currency, than the support classes, starting with the Medic. That's how I lost my medical license. No, we're still not playing TF2, we're playing PS2. These guys are the undisputed goats of Planetside 2, saving my ass more than Vosrick and High Sam have team killed me combined. Hi Sam, Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Stop moving, you need healing. You need healing? All right, uh, help me heal him. Fuck! Here we go. Ryden, you need healing? You yes, need I healing. need healing. Oh, whoops, it Ryden didn't always needs healing. A medic's sole purpose in life is to heal and revive. And in this game, they can keep your hopes and dreams of stealing a base from a group of degenerates, I'm looking at you, Von Sovereignty Mains, alive. One clutch revive grenade can revive one of your best players or all your players. It really depends on how clutch you are. The other support class is the engineer, and man, do you have options to work with here. Not only do you repair things, but you also build things. You don't quite build the biggest things like what the ant vehicle does, but you build smaller and less manpower dependent objects like turrets and barricades to keep your team dug in like trench warfare in World War One. Your primary objective, however, is giving your team the ability to never run out of ammo and resupply from the ammo packs. So get that in mind first before doing all this other really dope shit. To add on to the badassery of the engineer, you also get access to an anti-armor explosive sniper rifle called the Archer. Now, the Archer might not be the most useful against infantry, actually it's kind of useless against it, but but it definitely is more useful in large numbers against tanks and maxes. I actually got to witness firsthand as to how powerful a group of idiots with archers truly was, and it was truly one of the happiest and funniest accidents I've ever seen in this game. Chasing down and annihilating other players and vehicles? Check. Oh, look at you guys. Look at all the shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's He's running. Running. Get him. He's running. Running. He thinks He's safe in a sunderer. Get the Sunday! Sunday! Get the Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah! <laughs> get fucked. Oh, get oh. him, he's different. Yeah. Sending a flying aircraft carrier battle cruiser running to the other side of the map? Check. Uh, guys, you have bigger yep, yep. problems uh -oh. inbound. <laughs> uh, like, that. like the it's Bastion. It's a Bastion. Thing? You say Bastion like it's a problem, but it just means target rich environment. It actually, that oh thing is God, actually God, taking God, damage. Boss Ray. Yeah, the Archer. Yeah, Bastion, 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 Bastion. Bastion, 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 Bastion. Taking damage. Keep fucking I'm literally watching, I'm literally watching your guys' shells just hit it right now. <laughs> Guys, that Bastion is not happening. Turns unite! Up and kill the harass! Oh, you hit one! You killed one! You killed We got it! You, <laughs> you got a fucking hard point! Wait, who what? Was? Somebody just I, nailed I the hard it. point! It. it was me! It was me! Yeah! Wait, with an archer? I guess it had to have been. There was nothing else in there. The day of reckoning has come. Nothing shall stop our advance with the archer. That is fucking hilarious. The turrets you place down and the mines you were able to carry are some of the most efficient tools in the game. With two more to go, we move on to the Infiltrator class. Perfect for the ghost recon, sniping, or stealth loving type of player for shooters. When infiltrators aren't only aiming for your head while sniping with a bolt action rifle because that's what you need to do in order to be able to snipe. <laughs> Look oh at me. my god, I see that. There's oh, he shot a guy off a flash! I literally- <laughs> This guy just ate a round oh, from an LA-80 on his flash. Hold this round, buddy. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Yo, get this guy. He's, he's got a pew pair of health. No. <laughs> Where'd he go? Was that him? That is him. He's down. He's down low. Oh! Get his ass. Oh, I gotta reload. Hold on. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is! Jeez. The fuck? You're so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 15 rounds, probably a thousand dollars worth of ammo. <laughs> They're sneaking around committing war crimes by stabbing players and then just instantly disappearing. This class is perfect for gathering intel on where the enemy is and pure trolling. Slap a submachine gun on and some hunter cloak and you can literally qualify as a member of Ghost Recon. Finally, we get to the max class. These things have one or two purposes in life. Push and kill things. These things can only be equipped if you have enough nanites, one of the game's 20 currencies. But 450 nanites for a killing machine? Absolutely. The Terran and Vanu Maxes have the ability to have large magazine door holding weapons on their maxes, while the new conglomerate have to get pretty up close and personal in order to get kills. That's why they have dual wield shotguns. Mowing people down in this game with these things is one of the top 10 things to do, period. Especially just charging into an area and unleashing terror and helping your teammate out while simultaneously seeing the enemies either charge at you or seeing them just fucking boogie. Just remember to always have somebody to be your backup engineer repairing you while you're charging in face first. Because these maxes look like they can take a lot of damage, and they can, but they won't last long with 96 people shooting at you constantly. Look how fucking tank I am, let's go! Charge! Go, boys, go! Wait, they've got to wait on more maxes. Yeah, there's only two of you or three Standing of you. Standing here! There's only, there's, problem, boys. There might be only two of us, but... Oh. It's alright. Oh, my Murphy. Why are you still using Damn. Gorgons in 2021? Why do people not? still use Gorgons in 2021? Oh, my lance. Because oh, yeah, so totally many. Guns. Guns. All they have is C4 in there. Did I mention that this game is combined arms as well? As in vehicles and vehicle combat, which is hilariously fun when you aren't in the center of the map getting nuked harder than TI allies. Oh, it didn't go off. We're good. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Oh, uh. Yeah. I don't think it's going to this, this place isn't going to last much longer. I just dropped oh, another animal strike. Oh, fuck I'm me. I am right next to oh, it. Oh, death my count life. because uh, you killed allies, right? Or is that actually your own Up death? Dead. Raiden, that thing was so fucking close to me, bro. Can you just fire? Drop it right at me. Drop I the bait. Fired it. This is taking so long. This guy goes, hey, nuke time. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. This is why I'm a light assault. Going over all 19 vehicles in this game would be a huge waste of time, and this video just hit the 15 minute mark. So I'll go over the main and important vehicles, starting with the tanks. Tank driving and tank combat is an art in and of itself. The four factions all have specific tanks and fighters that are better at a few things than others. These massive hulking machines are meant to take out other vehicles and suppress enemy positions, really, and occasionally dunk on people just trying to make their way in life. 
Yeah, I was right. They have one right. There one. he is. There he is. Uh. Yeah. Let's ram him. He's half out. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, Raiden, what the fuck? <laughs> You hit him so hard someone fell out. With the fighters having similar characteristics to the corresponding faction, but a steep learning curve, especially if you play NC. I guarantee you though, once you learn the very basics of flying, you can get in a massive fight with cruisers and all that, and have a riot. The transports are arguably the most important vehicle in Planetside, with them possessing spawn capabilities that literally create an offense for your team. The main spawn transport is the Sunderer, a 12-man troop transport that can be equipped with a multitude of weapons for different scenarios. Hiding and protecting these things from enemy eyes and air are key to taking over a base, as your allies can spawn in from around the map. The other two transports are aircraft, and these are Valkyries and Galaxies. These, however, can accept people to spawn in from your squad only, not your platoon, not your outfit, and not your faction. Even though only a maximum of 12 different people can spawn into these things, they are extremely useful for kicking off an offense, or just starting a random bar fight somewhere. Last but certainly not least is the ant. The ant runs around harvesting those big orange and silver cordium crystals, and uses those items to build and fuel a silo, which eventually turns into a forward player constructed base that is typically used to nuke TI alloys if you're on Indar. Take cover, take cover. There's no cover to take. I'm dead. Oh, Wait, hold on. If I can, if I can hit this tree... Oh, I'm not hitting Holy the tree now. Holy shit. What uh, life, life Let update. Rain, I somebody says. And the next one's going to another one. Oh my fucking guy. Oh, Jesus man. Christ, yeah, happening? always just such a fucking mess, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> We're okay, so get back in the fight. Connection, please. Oh, I finally Oh, end. my <laughs> God. Oh, it wow. happened so late. It's that like, was so worth it. <laughs> just a nuclear bomb going off. <laughs> I killed two lightnings with that. I thought it was okay. And that's really all I got. If you were to take anything away from my longest video ever, please just remember these things. 1. Join an outfit and its community. 2. Don't buy weapons until you further understand how to play the game. 3. You will die countless amounts of times, and KD doesn't matter in this game. 4. The most controversial one, Rel is actually not a bad dev. Oh wait, that one was for the veterans to hear. Pleased to meet you.